Orange Kangaroo. On today's show, we'll be looking at the imagination. Sometimes, when I'm having trouble getting started, and I have a blank sheet of paper in front of me, I need something to help me get going. Others might turn to something like heroin or cocaine or that beverage from the exotic orient called coffee. I'm going to avoid as much use of cocaine and heroin as I possibly can. Coffee, on the other hand, well, I do indulge. But another way to help generate and pop up your imagination is to picture something that you enjoy. I myself would like to imagine a walk with Mr. Barbecue Smith. We've just left Chrome Yellow and have walked out through the gardens. After viewing the beautiful flowers, we move out into the countryside. And Mr. Barbecue Smith tells me about the cosmos. He describes that the key to great writing is inspiration. Now, finding your inspiration is the key to the key to great writing. This type of exercise often will help you build a stronger and deeper and more confident imagination. Think of it as the great detective once said, a mind palace. Draw everything you can into your mind palace by simply placing each idea, each thought, each memory into the appropriate room in your palace. Dare I say they are beautiful? And if you want to remember how to draw, say, a kangaroo, you could place those ideas and memories in the drawing room. Pull the drawer open in your desk and place in how to draw a kangaroo or a space fish. When you want to recall how to draw the space fish, simply go into the drawing room in the palace and pull open a drawer. Or maybe you have it laying out on a table or a drawing board. Now I'm going to flip over the portal to my imagination. I'm just going to flip it over and expose raw imagination right here just waiting to have something drawn upon it. I'm going to draw on my imagination so I can draw on this raw space. here you can see I have drawn something directly from my imagination. This is pure, raw inspiration. This is Barbecue Smith style. Ah, that is much better. See, I took my initial inspiration. I allowed it to come inside of me. And then I honed it. I honed it into this. Sometimes you just have to grab a hold of your imagination and hone it. Once you've done that, you'll produce beautiful drawings. I'm now going to sign my drawing.
in the professional manner. And there you have it. Yet another beautiful drawing. <laughs>